Paul McCartney was skeptical about the tune Hey Jude at first, but now it's one of his most famous songs. Despite the song's continued success, McCartney wasn't always sure of its potential when he wrote it, which was soon after John Lennon's divorce from Cynthia Lennon. Even though he was confident in the song's quality, he said that the prospect of releasing it made him nervous. After the breakup of the Beatles in 1970, McCartney was getting ready to release his debut solo album. The inclusion of any ballads as strong as Let It Be or Hey Jude was queried by a Rolling Stone journalist. When asked about his difficulty in evaluating his own songwriting abilities, McCartney admitted that he was human. Looking back on the release of Hey Jude, he admitted that he was anxious about the song's reception before its debut. Despite the Lennon's hardships, McCartney started writing on the song in 1968. He chose to see Julian, Lennon's kid, and Cynthia to console them because of their strong friendship. The Beatles' Paul McCartney began writing a song to encourage Julian on the commute to their Weybridge home. Though it was originally called Hey Jules, the song's message of hope and encouragement reassured Julian that everything would be well despite his parents' divorce. Its arrangement was a point of contention between McCartney and George Harrison when they first started working together on the tune. Although Harrison proposed riffs to accompany McCartney's lyrics, McCartney insisted on a simpler introduction. There was animosity between Harrison and McCartney during the process, even though Harrison agreed to the alterations. After all, McCartney's gut feelings won out, and Hey Jude ended up being a timeless classic. But the fact that he was unsure of himself as he was writing the song shows that even world-renowned musicians have doubts about their work.